All right, I call these the work problems, um, or work rate problems, because you know that's what you're dealing with here. I'll show you what I mean. So you have, so here's an example. Sam can paint a room in five hours, and Kim can paint the same room in eight hours. How long will it take them to paint it together? So <clears throat> here's what I want to do. So, so the rate at which Sam does the job plus the rate at which Kim does the job should equal the rate at which they do it together. Tell me if that's correct. The rate at which Sam works plus the rate at which Kim works should equal the rate at which they work together. So um, this is my equation. Now I need to convert it into, work, into a numerical stuff, right? Math. Sam can paint a room in five hours. It takes her, so she could do one job in five hours. This is the rate at which she does this job. This is the rate at which she paints this room. She does this one job in five hours. What's the rate at which Kim works? Kim can paint the same room in eight hours. So she does this one job in eight hours. This is the rate at which Kim works. She does that one job in eight hours. The rate at which they work together. Now they're painting that, you know, one single room. What is the rate that, you know, how long would it take them to do it together? So it would take them, I don't know, they do this one job in I don't know how many hours. I'm not sure how long it's going to take them to do it together. You cannot just add up these two hours. Because if you think about it, they should technically do it a little less than eight hours and a little faster than, uh, a little Longer than five hours, a little less than um, eight hours, because they're working together. But the rate at which Sam does her job plus the rate at which Kim does the job should equal the rate at which they do it together. So I created, if I lose, you know, my words, one fifth plus one eighth is equal to one over x. I created a rational equation with this. And every time you guys are solving these uh, work type of problems, you know. Sammy can do this in this many hours. Whatever person can do this in this many hours. How long can they do it together? Or sometimes they tell you, you know, the amount of time that they do it together and maybe, you know, you have to find X here or X here. It doesn't matter. The setup is always the same. The rate at which one of them does it plus the rate at which the other one does it should be the rate at which they do it together. Always. Now, if you remember how we solve rational equations, we look for the LCD right? Or the LCM, you know, what is the least common denominator? What is the least common multiple of all of these denominators? So in this case, 5, 8, and x. 5 times 8 is 40. 40x is my LC, LCD, LCM, right? So everything in this equation is going to get multiplied by the LCD. So I'm going to solve this the same way I did the more advanced rational equations. So 1 fifth, um, multiplied by this 40x. So I'm going to leave this one times whatever's left when I cancel the denominator with, uh, you know, whatever is in common in the numerator. So the 5 is going to cancel, 5 goes into 48, and I'm left with an 8x. Plus, I'm writing the 1, normally I'm not going to write the 1, but I'm writing the 1 to show you how it relates to my other video. The numerator here times whatever is left when this 8 gets, you know, uh, simplified with this 40x. So I'm left with a 5 and an x is equal to this 1 gets multiplied by whatever's, by whatever's left when this gets multiplied by this or, or simplified with this. So the x is canceled and I'm left with 40. Okay, so I have 8x plus 5x is equal to 40. And then 8 plus 5, 13x is equal to 40. Divide both sides by 13. X is 40 over 13. Um, now, it all depends um, on, you know, what you're asked for. Do you want to leave it as a fraction or do you want to actually write it out as a decimal? 40 divided by 13. So I'm going to say 3 point, depending on rounding, let's say 3.1. We're rounding to the nearest tenth, one decimal. So it takes them approximately... 3.1 hours to do the job together. It should take them faster than if they were to do it alone, right? 
So um, anytime you do these weight, uh, these rate problems, uh, same way, the rate at which one of them does it plus the rate at which the other does it should be the rate at which they do it together. And you're expecting, I mean, you are expecting a number less than these two because technically, yeah, you know, now they're working together, so it should go faster than both of them working alone. That makes sense, right? 3.1 hours for them to do the job together. 